Where? In the with the herbos? No, he's no. Turn around. On the on the hill. On the hill. How did he get out, ego? I don't know. He Nemi. must be able to jump higher. You need to make it bigger. You need to make it bigger. This guy keeps escaping to try and find food. Or we can get through the Oh, we must be able to climb them somehow. Oh, he's not happy when I put him back down again. Oh, he's like screamed at me as soon as I placed him. We were driving. We've crashed. Crash landed. Crash landed. <laughs> oh, look. Woohoo! Yeah, see you later, world. I have landed successfully on the space. Hey, old oh, man. I just floated off it. Just floated off it. I didn't want found the gravity. Now then, welcome back to What No Ego. What? You you sort of had your head above the wall in the the, the yeah. Oh, I'm now That's Block Man. Block Man. Now then, oh, welcome back to another episode on the Revenge of the C Team server. Nemgo playing. Uh, today. We're just having a brief look at what the dinosaurs are up to and trying to keep this first Carno penned in. Don't the, don't the pens look lovely? Didn't Ego do a great job of making a lake inside of oh, a Oh, that Ego wall? did a crack. Get down, you stupid carnival. Uh, Ego made amazing. It was it was amazing that only that dinosaur there could escape. He's and doing it again. Look at it. He's trying, isn't he? He must be trying to climb, I tell you. But anyway, uh, he's not going to get out of that one, is he? He's not going to get out of that one. Oh, if he does, I'm going to kill him. If he does, we'll spawn another one. Eh, fine. He's going to get away. He's fine. They kind of glitch through places as well when chunks load. That's another possible problem with the, the, the iron bars. Look, he's getting out now and the chunks aren't unloading. So. Yeah, I know. He's trying to get out. Uh, but the herbivores are now a few days old, a couple of days old. I've been feeding them regularly. They are not really getting much bigger right now. This one... Maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, he's three blocks tall now. He's definitely bigger. Yeah, the Brachiosaurus oh, is bigger. Uh, I think the Triceratops is... Yeah, he's getting a little bit bigger as well. Yeah, two-day-old, he's getting bigger. Uh, the uh, the This one, Gallimimus, it is just stupid. It's just, nah, it's not good just look at that small head. What? Where are oh, we looking? Small head, big eyes, big Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. It's, it's it's a bit weird. Yeah. He, he is the stupid one, I tell you. That looks like you without your makeup. Ow. Whatever. Without my makeup, <clears throat> you think I need makeup to look this good? <laughs> right. So while we're waiting for all those dinos to grow up, I think we should go and play a Ding. video game. I think we should go and play something. <laughs> do something. Yeah, let's go do something educational. Let let's do something all techy like, like the opposite end of the spectrum. We've gone from prehistoric in the first episode this week to something high tech, super future sci fi. So, if you wouldn't mind returning to the village, we'll let's go to the village. Let's go let's to the go village. To the village. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, village is this way. We'll need to okay. pop back up to here quite regularly as well because we'll need materials. But for a start, let's play a game of Guess the Body Parts. That's right, you heard it. Guess the Body Parts. Matter right. Overdrive chest right, over where here. Where did you go now? The Matter Overdrive house. What? No. Oh, you're actually in the village. In the village, matter over, matter overdrive uh, house. That's that one. Mm -hmm. Hi, hey, ma'am. There you are. Yeah. Wow. All right, and then in this chest, funky chest, there is all the bits and pieces that we've picked up so far. Ooh. Funky now, chest. There is legendary. Android stuff in here. There's Android heads and Android arms and spines and Android legs and Earl Grey tea hot. Kind of like that. Um, colour modules and energy packs and molecular inscribers and titanium crates and all sorts of things. Including these mad scientist data pads. Now, I remember messing around with these when I first found them. Mm -hmm. And if you take 
the other data pad that's in there and the other GMO. I think your GMO actually looks easier. Um, you open up the data pad and nothing happens. What? What? I'm not even open. It's not even opening. How'd you open it, Nam? Okay, click on the uh, GMO yeah, thing and instead. Yeah, accept right. I'll accept it. And accepted it. Replicating vegetables, re vegetables. That's absurd. They taste awful. All those replicated stuff just feel like blah 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 blah. Scan twenty-two carrots with a scientist data pad. Reward three hundred and ninety XP and a hardened titanium from? from the GMO thing that you just clicked accept on the bottom. It's oh, like right. the terms and conditions that you never read. You just click accept on the bottom. I was doing the actual reading. Uh, you can use your data pad to scan some. Oh, I've just had a thing go on. Started GMO. And I've got a second data pad now. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put the mad scientist one back and have this data pad. It's a data pad. With a data pad, you can scan stuff. Like I've just scanned wooden planks. Right, okay. You just hold down right click on a block. Cobblestone. Bing. Yeah. And a uh, door. This is kind of how you figure out what can do what. Oh, I shift right click the data pad and it opens up the like the gooey wiki thing. The gooey wiki. It's not even a wiki, it's a Does gooey wiki. Does that anyway? Shift right click and it opens up the gooey. That's cool. So I'm saying when you just right click. When you just right click, it starts scanning a block. No, in midair. Uh, just right click. Ah, then it does the GUI. Alright, so there's nothing different then. No, it's right. You're right. It's good. Uh, so, we've got all sorts of different things in here. Now, the last time, I just basically made something, uh, for this matter, molecular inscriber to sort out. Now, this molecular inscriber needs a lot of power. Um, do we have a portable Ooh. power source? At the moment, do you have like a Tesseract? Um, um, no. no. Okay. Okay. So we need to take the molecular inscriber to the power source. Okay. In the other way, then. Okay. Okay. I'm just having a look, see if we've got any carrots. Yeah, we've got loads of carrots. I'm going to see how we can scan these carrots, see if it's a, a thing that we can do. Uh, let's throw them down on here. And try scanning them. Nope. No, we cannot. No. Uh, maybe we need to do it in something. Like another machine. There is matter scanners, which I don't have any info on. But that is technically there, something there. There is going to be a, a scanner block as well, isn't there? So okay. we've got matter decomposers, matter replicators, matter recyclers, matter analyzer. That'll be it. This is the block of the equivalent to the matter scanner. The main difference is that the matter analyzer is the only way to scan items. It also scans items and blocks twice as much as the matter scanner, increasing their progress by 20%. So we need to make a matter analyzer so that we can scan right. our carrots into the matter analyzer to complete that little quest thing. Little quest thing? That little quest is going to take forever. Forever. So we need to set something up on oh, the power supply. We need a good power supply. Um, wh Where my, are we going to find a good power gone? supply? Where's my axe gone? I've lost hmm? my I've lost my axe again. No. When did oh? What's the oh? It's really? okay. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. It's okay. Woo! Stress over. Stress over. I found it. Uh, Out. Scan a carrot and a potato plant with a mad scientist data pad. Has to be planted. You could plant it. Uh, maybe. Let's see if planted works. Oh, baby! Oh, baby, baby, baby. What? Have you scanned something? Yeah. Did you scan carrots? Yeah. Oh, you can scan these carrots. Oh, yeah. You can scan them like this. But it's only counting as one. Yep. Oh no, you, you've got to stop scanning in between. You've got to like give it a second to cool down or something. 
I need, uh, I need that. So we just gotta scan lots and lots of carrots, and then we get the XP Looking reward way, yeah. and stuff. Okay, I still wanna make the matter scanner and stuff anyway. Um, I've only got 22 to get. How many? 22. 22 what? Carrots. Why, I've only got to get 14. Oh man, you had a cheap one. I had the longest running one. Well, I'll fast forward this bit. I may have, I've scanned like 50 and it's only clocked up 16. Don't know how that works. But I'm going to go and uh, make some things up in the spaceship because I want to do that. Do you uh, do you have the ability to quickly make up a Tesseract at uh, the castle? Oh, I, don't know. I suppose I'd better go and have a look. It's catching up now. It's just said 17 even though I walked away from the carrots a while ago. I have to do everything. Everything. You're crazy. They can't eat it. What are they going to do? Play pool. Can you imagine dinosaurs playing pool? A bit like that dogs playing pool uh, yeah. picture. Right. Crazy fool. Let's go. Yeah, right. So in the laboratory, let's set something up in the laboratory. So I reckon this room, yeah, against this wall. So behind the wall somewhere, we'll start off with a molecular something yeah. or other. A molecular inscribey type thing. Just there. That'll do. So this should now gain power. Yep. Yeah. And yep. then I put some of these circuits in here and some of this gold in there. And it Ooh, should start That's going to make something that's gold. It's going to make a golden. It's going to make it golden, it is. And then we need a diamond, which I haven't got here. So I need to jump back up to the ship. Grab a diamond. Bing. And head back down to the, the things. To the things. To do all the things, because we've got to upgrade it twice. It's got to be a Mark Three circuit. Oh I think. my God! You can have up to so that was Mark Two, and then we do diamond to make it at a Mark Three. Wow! And then to that's the Mark Three circuit there. The pattern drive needs some of those things. Some titanium plates, which is two titanium ingots together. Uh, the energy conversion matrix requires some ender pearls, two more of those isolinear circuits and some dilithium crystals. And that flash stick needs some of that. These are all quite easy to make. Right. But we just need to make a lot of these isolinear circuits first, using a lot of power. That seems too long-winded. Too long-winded? Yep. To, to make a, a thing that studies matter. Yep. Matter. It's, what the matter? It's no matter. You've taken that thing out, haven't you? Yep. Let's put How many? a crafting table. We need loads of them. Do you have any redstone on you? Probably. Give me a sec. Because I could make a lot of these now. Yep. How many do you want? Crafting tables. No, uh, redstone. Uh, I don't know. Let's have 15. Fifteen, and I will put a couple of these in there. Fifteen, not fifteen stacks of. It's all, going on, the, it's all need... going on the floor now. Whoa! I gave you that. You did. And I said fifteen. All right, and then we need some of this other stuff. The proper ingots. I think we got those stored somewhere. Uh, and some of those dilithium what do you mean crystals. You think? Well, we had stuff like this. For, we've had it for ages, but how much we actually physically need or have, mm. I'm not so sure. I've got some of that and some of that. If I need some more, I can get some more. Yeah, that's good. Mm. All right, so we're going to go with... There's two blocks of iron. That's easy enough to do. Pattern drive is some redstone and a machine case in the titanium that. That's easy. This should all be really super simple to make. And then what? Super simple to make, you say? Super, super simple to make. Right, why yeah. am I holding this thing? I don't really need that, do I? Yeah, that thing. You keep holding it. All right, so we'll be back in a little bit when we've made this thing so we can see whether we, we can will. figure out how to do it. we never coming back. Right, okay. what am I calling this thing? My cool bat. Why does that sound familiar, though? I know, it's weird, isn't it? 
Does my my callback sounds really familiar. It does. <laughs> all right, so now I've got all of those component parts made. Matter analyzer is e created. E, e created. It has been created. And now I need to put some power to the people. I'm going to just do this because ego put the trans trans things in the wall there. So now I got this. What does this do? I don't know. It gains power. Oh, and it put, you put matter in there. You put a pattern database. Is this data powder pattern database? Uh, yeah, he is. No, he is watching chat. I am. Hello, Michael. Uh, I need a data pad. A data pad is what exactly? I don't know. What is a data pad? It's a pad that stores data. Oh, man. Right, I've done it, Nem. you done what? I've got the bat back. You found the bat again. Pattern database. There you go, look. My fat cool bat. Put him in the hole, then, where he's supposed to go. <laughs> he's put on some weight, so he's now... The fat bat. Fat bat. Where's Nem's face? Nem hasn't got a face. He was disfigured as a child when he fell in the toilet and his uh, friend flushed it and his face got sucked off. So he is like uh, Deadpool, but not cool and really aggressive. He's kind of soft and mushy. What? Miz says, where's your face? What, what was that for? I was just explaining to the peeps why you don't show your face because you are disfigured because you uh, had a swirly when you were a child. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just ugly. Uh, yeah. My, my face is actually on my YouTube channel. Yep. So my face is there. I used to look like Brad Pitt. Now I'm starting to look more like. Now my... he likes armpits. <laughs> now I'm looking more like an armpit. Yes. <laughs> I've seen I've seen Nem's face. It shows up on my uh, my uh, Facebook feed every now and again. When my wife posts pictures, my yep. stalkers all across the world, including Blackpool, yes. know, know, know my, what they are. My, my, who's this ugly mug? Why Why is this strange man in the London Eye? <laughs> Uh, I gotta, I've got to find out how to use this matter analyzer because it looks like it's been analyzing this carrot for days now. Days. For days. It started doing stuff and using power, but you then... okay there, my fat, my fat cool bat. But there's no pattern things. So if I make another pattern monitor, that's another big crafting recipe. Pattern storage, that's another big pattern of recipe stuff. Yeah, it's not doing there's anything. pattern drives, which is that. That's probably simple enough to make. But there seems to be a lot of crafting involved in this startup. And I'm sure I didn't do this much when I did it earlier. I made a little handheld scanner thing, but that might have just been this data pad. May, may have just been the data pad, yeah. Scanning stuff. Have, has he? You've not shown your face a few times on YouTube, have you? Uh, vlogs. Yes, I did a vlog before. Oh I went yeah, to you did. Con. Yeah, yeah. When you were in uh, London. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I've done, it done it a bit scary. here, scary. but I don't live stream with a webcam because I don't have a webcam. Every time he turns one on, it breaks. <laughs> oh yeah. Break your face. <laughs> um, I don't you sorted it out. No, I haven't sorted it out. I can't figure out what I need next. I'm going to have to do some research and come back next episode looking uh, like a professional. It's kind of yeah, it's okay. I've got some things that are working. I know how to do that molecular inscriber, and I've made a matter analyzer this time, which is further than I ever got before. But I think I need to actually store the data in a pattern storage device. Did you just kill it again? No. I'm going to shoot it. No, 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 no. That's not the way to end an episode. Killing our other pet. My fat cool Oh, bat. you moved! <laughs> I didn't even kill it. I heard it die though in the background behind me. <laughs> you were about to shoot me in the back of the head and I moved. Oh, poor ego. Gotta go bloody get another one now. 
make sure it's a bat this time. Oh. All right, well, the dinosaurs are getting bigger, and my knowledge of matter overdrive is getting better. And I, I think I've just found a dodo egg. Cool. But it's like a chicken egg. It doesn't always produce another one when you throw it. But that's cool. I like that. I like that they're laying dodo eggs around. And I think dodos can also be edible by other things. So maybe that'll be something cool later. Uh, but that is all that we've got time for this episode, folks. So thank you very, very hold much on, for then. watching. Hold on, hold on. Let me get back to you. This is important. You haven't got a bat. And there's a tornado brewing right above my head. It's coming. There's a tornado brewing right above my head. I tell you, that's not a good thing. Where are you going? The chicken is flying the wrong way. That's you, isn't it? No, that's <laughs> my, my fat cool bat. It doesn't say anything on it. No, but it is. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching another episode of Nemgo playing on the C Team server. We'll see you very soon for some more. Goodbye. Bye-bye.